the Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 3, uh, I think from verse 2 to 11, the Bible says um, that this man was conceived in his mother's womb. Uh, in the book of Acts 3, the Bible then said uh, that oftentimes uh, they will bring this man uh, and then place him by the beautiful gate uh, which he gather here. Uh, this man was lame. Uh, matter of fact, the Bible says uh, he was born lame. Uh, oh, thank you, Father God. Uh, he was born lame uh, and they will bring him every now and again uh, by the gate to the temple. Uh, and that gate is called beautiful. Uh, uh, they bring him to the beautiful gate, uh, but there was nothing beautiful about his life. Uh, praise be the name of the almighty God. Uh, and they will sit him down there. Uh, and we'll be asking everybody for arms. Uh, uh, can I have some money, please? Uh, some money for breakfast? Uh, some lunch? Uh, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, they bring him there to keep asking for arms. Uh, in that same place, uh, you know, the, leader, the, the leaders of the synagogues, uh, they keep going in and out. Uh, go in and out. Uh, going in and out. Uh, but one day, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Peter and John began to walk by. Uh, and the Bible then make us understand uh, uh, Peter looked at him uh, and John fixed at him. Uh, Bible says Peter fixed his eyes uh, on him uh, and said, silver and gold uh, I have none, uh, but such as I have, uh, I give unto you. Uh, rise up and walk. Uh, and he held him by the hand uh, and he stood him up. Uh, and the Bible then said uh, as soon as he came up, uh, he was still limping, uh, but there was faith. Uh, I have received my miracle. Uh, praise be the name of the Lord. Uh, he was limping, but he could see believe. I know, you know, God has, God, God who have begun it, he will finish it. Praise God. And he went into the temple and then began to worship. By the time he came out of the worship, he wasn't limping anymore. Everything was fine. I would together here. Praise be the name of the Almighty God. Hear me, child of God. Whatever you are dealing with, there is enough power in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus, you are coming out of that depression. You are coming out of that failure. In Jesus mighty name. You are coming out of that limitations. In the mighty name of Jesus. There's power on your inside. The grace of God is upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise be the name of the Lord. And then when I look at that scripture carefully. Then he remind me of our Lord and our Savior. Christ Jesus. Then I realize that all the errors. All the mistakes. Everything put together, both the good and the bad, God is making everything put them together like the coat of many colors to make your life blissful in the name of Jesus. No time for regret, no time for regret. Your errors and the mistakes, all of them, God is going to make them good in the name of Jesus. And the Bible then make us understand that Jesus appeared when Jesus appeared in the womb of Mary. That was the first time man had the privilege to see God in human form. Are we together here? Then Jesus appeared. He was born, praise God, for one single reason. Why? Because he's in. Before Jesus came, Adam has messed us up in the Garden of Eden. Hear me, child of God. Adam was kicked out of the garden. Him and Eve, after they have made the errors. Oh, God help me, Lord. And the Bible says they were kicked out of the, out of the garden. Hear me, child of God. The Garden of Eden wasn't a place. Uh -uh. That is why you can't find the Garden of Eden in the map. Praise God. The Garden of Eden is a typology of God's presence. I will together here. So when Adam sinned, they lost the God. They lost God's presence. Praise be the name of the Lord. They lost the presence of God. And the moment that happened, God said, "Well, okay." leave my presence because I am a holy God. I can't behold sin. Oh God help me Lord. But you see our God is a beautiful God. Even though he drove them out of the garden still God carried out the first sacrifice to see that they were secured. Bible says he brought up animals. He killed the animal. The first sacrifice ever. God performed that sacrifice on behalf of Adam and Eve and he covered their shame. Praise be the name of the Lord. 
Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Then man now has a contingency plan by which man can then stay holy. So every once in a year, they have to bring animals to the priest, to the high priest, to say, well, this is the, this animal, this is the, this is the goat for the sin offering. Another goat for the burnt offering to be able to atone for their sins so that their sins can be covered for 12 months. After all of that, Bible said, God sat down. God said, no, this was, this was not my plan for man. Oh, God help me, Lord. And the Bible then said, God took counsel with himself and said, let us make man in our image. And I'm sure, let me paint you a picture. The Bible says, there's a word, the Holy Ghost said, if we make man in our image, man at some point is going to disobey us. Then Jesus said, well, in that case, I will die for them now. Praise God. You have been told that Jesus died over 2,000 years ago. But I've come to let you understand, Jesus died before 2,000 years ago. And we together here. Why? Because the spiritual realm governs the physical realm. Jesus has finished redemption before he showed up. That's why when he showed up, everything the pilot did couldn't stop him. Everything that he did to stop redemption could not be stopped. Why? Because it was a finished work in process. Praise be the name of the Almighty God. And Jesus appeared and said, you know what? I'm going to die for man. And one sacrifice, one and for all. I've come to let you understand. Jesus paid the price for your life. Praise God. And they mounted Jesus on the wall, nailed him to the cross, put a ton of flesh on his, a ton on his head. Hear me, child of God. The Bible says that ton had 72 tons. Hey, child of God. Why? Because every issue that man has to deal with begins from the mind. When the mind is, when the mind is corrupt, when the mind is poor, when the mind is bad, when the mind is in prison, the entire body is locked up. Praise God. So Jesus set our mind free. He set our mind free, set our hands free, set our legs free, and he declared, it is finished. 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 